Now the third one which we are going to discuss is coal gas. Okay. Now it name itself suggests how it is formed. So we will be discussing what now? Coal gas. See children, I told you that we are discussing what? What we are doing? We are changing coal. Okay. We are changing coal into various substances like coke. Okay. How it is done? In absence of oxygen. That means oxygen is not there. When coal is converted into coke, certain gas is formed. Okay. So, the gas which is formed when during the process of the conversion of coal into coke. So, how shall I write? It is formed when coal is processed to get coke. How can we understand this in a simple meaning? When coal is being converted into coke, okay. when we are trying to make coal, from the coal what we are trying to make? Coke. So, what is happening? What are the conditions? High temperature, high pressure and oxygen should not be there in absence of oxygen. So, a gas get liberated okay, and that gas is what? This gas is what? This gas is known as what? Coal gas. Okay. So, now see uh, we are what whenever whatever we are discussing we have we have discussed coke we have discussed coal tar also now we are discussing coal gas so what these are formed from coal so again i can write over here that it is a very good fuel it is a good fuel and where it can be used in the industries actually can be used in the domestic purposes also okay now, of what this coal gas is made up of, like what is present here. So, I will tell you that methane is there, okay, hydrogen is there, and even carbon. I will have to rub this, okay. So, carbon monoxide. Okay, so, it is made up of what? It is made up of all these things made up of. Okay, made up of. So, coal gas is made up of what? Methane, hydrogen and carbon monoxide. All these gases are there in this coal gas. Okay, as I said, it is a good fuel and it can be used in the industries. Okay, now. Earlier, you know, actually this was used for lighting of limbs, uh, to lit the limbs. But now it is used as a source of heat to produce the heat. Okay. So, what is this? This is the uh, coal, we are talking about coal, what? Gas. It is formed when? I will write in short over here when coal gets converted into coal in absence of O2. Okay. So, coal gas is formed and it is a very good fuel and what, what it is made up of? It is made up of methane, it is made up of hydrogen and even carbon monoxide gas is present in this. Earlier it was used to lit the lamps, uh, to lit the street lamps or lights something. Okay. But now, uh, what it is used to produce the heats. First time it was used uh, to uh, in which sense as I was talking to lit the limbs, but now it is used to produce heat. Okay. So, this was the third one. Now, I will be talking about what is there ammonium liquor. I will be talking about ammonium liquor. Due to all this process, even ammonia is produced. Okay. Now, when this ammonia is dissolved in water, okay, what is produced? Ammonia is produced, and when it is dissolved, okay, when it is dissolved, where in water. So, what is formed? Ammonium liquor is formed. 
okay what is ammonium liquor in this procedure in this process which kind of process in the dry distillation of coal or in the destructive distillation of coal what is what is happening ammonia is formed and when this ammonia is dissolved in water then what will be formed ammonium liquor will be formed and again as it is obtained from coal so one very fixed point which i have to write that it is used as a fuel okay it is used as a fuel so this was all about what is formed when the destructive destruction of coal is being done when the dry distillation i can use the second word also destructive i can use the second word also like i can say in both the ways destructive distillation of the coal or dry distillation of the coal when dry distillation of coal or destructive distillation of coal is done four things are formed children what is formed coke is formed coal tar is coal tar is uh, formed coal gas is formed and ammonium liquor is formed what i am doing i am talking about the heating when i when the coal is being heated at very high temperature in absence of oxygen then these four things are formed so we have discussed coke and coal tar previously only now coal gas like it is made up of several gases like methane like hydrogen and like carbon monoxide even this one is uh, used as a very good fuel where it can be used in the industries and the next one the last one is what ammonium liquor now as uh, all this procedure is uh, like all this process is conducted when it is conducted ammonia is formed which when dissolved in water then it is forming what ammonium liquor again where it can be used it can be used as a very good fuel okay now we'll be moving to the next topic now we'll be discussing about the uses of the coal okay so what shall i write over here uses of the coal see just first use what can be the very first use it is used as a fuel okay so it can be used as a used as a domestic fuel and it can be also used as industrial fuel industrial fuel okay now just remember a uh, few years back how the railway engines used to move okay we used to have steam engines and how steam wa was produced it was with the help of coal so earlier used earlier were earlier i can write in short also earlier it was used or earlier were used in steam engine okay then what can be the next one it is used in thermal electric plant thermal electric plant okay now just now children we have studied what were the things which were like what all things which we studied and how it was formed to remind you just now we have studied the destructive distillation of the coal so what are the things which is formed from the coal like coke okay so coke and coal are also formed just now we have studied okay so what were the things coke coal coal tar and even ammonium liquor okay so just now we have studied all these things are formed from the coal destructive distillation so even the, this is also what it is use of coal why because then again this thing these all things are used to make again different things similarly we read many organic compounds are also formed organic compounds like what benzene phenol okay nephta all these things are also formed with the help of what coal 
just will revise it once what we are studying about we are talking about the uses of coal how coal can be very like how coal can be useful to give us various things what can be the uses what can be the uses of the coal so uses of the coals are see first of all the very basic things which you all know it is used as a fuel where it can be used as a fuel it can be used as a fuel in the how like like household purpose okay na so domestic purposes then industrial purposes okay two points other this one or even it can be clubbed and can be written in one that it can be used as industrial and domestic fuel then formation of what things can be formed just whatever four things we have read that you can write then next point can be the even the formation of the organic compounds like benzene phenol naphtha toluene and all these things okay now after this what else can we after this what else can we uh, write we can write like organic compounds and then thermal electric plant like it is used to produce energy and thermal electric plant to produce electricity also same thing okay now so all these are the uses of what coal and previously it was used in the steam engine also so that means coal is very very useful product or substance for us now we are going to shift to the next topic and we are going to study about petroleum petroleum see students petroleum is evolved or made of two words what can be the two words petro petra and oleum okay and what does petra means it means what just think try to recall or try to you know just even a uh, guess a guess what can be the meaning of and just guess it's not guess huh? sometimes it happens because we are studying gas only so coal gas and not gas guess okay so what can be the meaning it can petra means what rock okay and oleum means what oil so how what we are studying first of all we are studying we are studying petroleum okay other name which can be written over here is crude oil so it can be also called as what crude oil we are talking about petroleum it, it can be also known as crude oil now see petroleum is made up of two words petra and oleum petra means what rock and oleum is what oil so what does it means it means what rock oil what does it means does uh, uh, does the rock gives oil or uh, do we extract oil from the rocks no what does it means it means that oil is there entrapped okay entrapped in between the layers of the rock okay it is somewhere in between the rocks it is somewhere in, like surrounded by the rocks and so it is also uh, known as rock oil we are talking about petroleum which is divided by which is derived by two words petra and oleum petra means what petra means rock and oleum means oil that means we can say that we are talking about rock oil and from where do we get rock oil it is entrapped in the in between the rocks okay so it has to be removed from there now what now again how it was formed formation okay how it was formed formation again as we have discussed earlier also that when very tiny or even if we do not word do not use the word tiny animals and plants okay animals and plants when these animals like lot of lot many animals and plants they got buried 
under the sea and then layers of sand was formed and slowly the sand got converted into rock sedimentary rocks and whatever what what happened then these uh, animals and plants were getting buried down and what was happening it was going uh, under like the, the depth was increasing okay and so what was the scenario the pressure was very high the temperature was very high and in between the rocks these things what things the tiny or the animals and the plants got converted into petroleum or into crude oil so this is what all about formation of the petroleum i am not writing the definition because we have discussed this thing okay now to like what it is actually okay how it is so it is what it is black color rather i will write this side because it will be more comfortable so i'll just continue over there okay so i'll just write all the things which i have written over here in very short over there so that we can continue from here we are talking about petroleum or crude oil okay now this can be derived like what i said it is made up of two words petra and oleum petra means rocks and it means oil and so i can say rock oil okay is this thing clear then what we were discussing how it is formed formation so what can i write in the formation how it was formed children it was formed when the animals and plants were so when we talk about formation of petroleum so how it was formed when the animals and plants got buried animals and plants got buried in the sea bed okay so and in millions of years it all this got converted into what petroleum product now how this petroleum like how what is petroleum what how it is crude oil hai na so what can we write over here it is black in color children okay it is viscous liquid you know when we talk about petroleum uh, a very common thing which comes a very uh, uh, a very uh, a particular word which comes in my mind is you know it is known as black gold it is known as black gold just imagine how precious gold is okay how precious gold is and we are saying something like it is we are comparing petroleum or crude oil with the gold so just try to understand the importance of petroleum why it is known as black gold first of all the color is black that is thick hai and the next thing is it is as precious as gold because many things okay because many things can be made from this crude oil okay and uh, you know just talk about just think about the economy or economy of the any country just think of yourself can you survive without petrol okay can you survive in the sense i'm not talking about being alive can you uh, do your things properly in absence of petrol no we won't be anywhere we won't be able to stand anywhere in the world and when we when we talk about any country's economy this petroleum is very important factor in modern world i can say this is a very important part of any uh, country okay this is a very important part of civilization i should say now okay so petroleum uh, it 
uh, when it is uh, like when it is uh, when we talk about if any country is having wells of uh, this thing petrol so so much of wealth that country possess it means it can be related in this way okay so it is what it is dark it is viscous liquid and how does it smell again unpleasant smell that means smell is what smell is bad okay smell is not very pleasant smell is very bad okay then from just now we have studied that it we get all these things from the where from the seabed so how and how it is removed so just we'll have a look on the diagram see this part is completely made up of stones okay all these are what stones i will write here stones okay in the sea bed at the bottom obviously what will be there stones will be there big rocks will be there okay i can even write over here stones or rocks now above this is what what is flowing over here here water is flowing so what shall i write water okay now always remember now petrol is lighter than what uh water okay and it is lying this whole part is water and it is lying somewhere here this is water okay and above this above this is what this part is what petroleum okay again it is covered with what the layer of the water and the stones okay again what is there water is there and again what is there here again big stones are there okay stones are there i can say even shell or you know it is covered okay big rocks are there then again what uh, i can say like it is again covered and here the surface of the earth or the i can say the earth the surface is there and you know natural gas is present somewhere here only here is the natural gas this is what natural gas okay so what is there what is there first of all big rocks okay big rocks are there many stones are there it is there at the bottom of the sea on above like on the surface of the all this uh, on the bottom at the bottom of the sea what is there big rock stones are there above that obviously water is flowing above that or somewhere in between over here in between the stones okay what is being uh, what is what is there what is stored over there petroleum product is stored over there water is also here also water is available here also water will be there okay then what will be there again above the petrol natural gas is present then again surface of layer water is there then shell uh, i can say again the stones are there rocks are there okay and again what can be there the surface of the earth earth surface which we are there on so you know and then here the this machines are have to put up in this way okay so it comes till here and then the petroleum product is removed from this part now you know uh, whenever mining is done okay whenever mining is done first of all the natural gas the gas this one the natural gas it tries and it comes out from the uh, this digging ring with very high pressure okay what i am saying please try to understand first of all when mining is done what happens the natural gas it tries to come out it oozes out with a great pressure okay and when the uh, when, when this pressure get little reduced okay then the petroleum uh, the crude oil is extracted extracted from there 
so you know what happens actually there is due to the pressure of the gas itself the crude oil the crude the petroleum the other part it also tries to comes out okay i'll try to explain it again in this way the digging ring is being put up the the machineries are uh, brought till this point then mining is started and how mining is started you know what they do they just go in the seas and they just start to put the plant over there no a proper survey is being done okay a proper survey of what a proper survey of the uh, of you know the like some companies are there like say for example ongc okay the natural gas uh, ongc company is there which is in this uh, business it uh, tries to find out the new places where the uh, petroleum can be available where the petrol can be available so when the survey is made by the companies and when the place is decided and detected okay when the place is detected yeah this is the place and here we can find the petroleum uh, products or the petrol so that the machinery is then uh, uh, you know set up and then the machinery is brought to this level and then mining is mining is done when mining is done first of all what happens the natural gas it comes out with a great force this gas is also collected always remember this natural gas we are going to study after this how important even this natural gas is okay then this natural gas is collected and then uh, slowly in the beginning what is there the pressure is very high slowly what will happen the pressure get reduced and then the petroleum is extracted what's wrong with me i'm saying i'm pronouncing it wrong it is removed okay it is removed from the uh, the seabed okay and this petroleum products it comes out due to the pressure of the oil itself so i think all this thing is very clear to you now how petrol is made how formed how was petrol formed when the animals and the uh, plants they got buried in the seabed okay and due to me like uh, in millions of years due to high temperature high pressure in absence of oxygen always underline this in absence of oxygen all this got converted into what all this got converted into petroleum products petroleum okay crude oil it got converted into now where it is i'm talking about it is present in the seabed so to remove uh, the things from there some special machineries has to be put up set up okay so this was the how the in between the layers in between the stones the, how the petroleum is extract uh, I, i don't know something is wrong i am not able to pronounce this word today i will not pronounce rather now so how petrol is removed from in between in between uh, where it is trapped in between the stones and so it is removed from there okay so this was about how the petrol is formed okay what how the petrol formation took place and how it is removed from the seabed okay so now we are going to proceed to the next part just have a quick look petroleum crude oil it is very very important part of any country's economy if a country is rich in petroleum crude oil that means it is having lot amount of black gold and that means the that means the economy of that country is very good okay so that country must be thank thanking all these microscopic and tiny animals and plants who got buried under the seabed ki yeah because of all these microscopic animals and plants the country is very rich in the petroleum crude oil because because of these only it the particular country is having lot of petroleum products okay petroleum crude oil inside that so then we read it is made up of two words petra and oleum petra means rock oleum is oil and how it is formed just now we have discussed too many times then it is how it is it is black color it is viscous liquid and it is also known as black gold okay and how does it smell it really smells very bad okay so uh, when we were discussing like all these are removed from the seabed so when we talk about india which are the different places where we can find all such kind of 
sea beds like where from where can we remove so it can it is present in it is there in gujarat it is there in assam in bombay high okay or uh, like you know different different kind of uh, different places are there from where this petroleum product is removed then what has to be done after removing uh, this petroleum product what has to be done can we use uh, this petroleum product directly into the vehicles can we do no so then from here the petroleum product has to be taken to the refineries okay so first of all in india okay in india oil production is done where oil production okay oil production in india so just now as i told it is there in gujarat in assam bombay high then even at the delta of kaveri krishna and godavari okay so these are the places where the oil products can be obtained in india okay where gujarat assam mumbai high, bombay bombay high and the delta of kaveri krishna and godavari assam all these places are where we can obtain oil like the crude oil okay now what has to be done now these uh, from these places the crude oil has to where it has to be uh, sent it has to be taken to the refineries okay now what is done in the refinery so where will be moving to will be moving to refineries or now refining of the petrol of petrol okay now what we are going to study is the refining of petrol okay you know what how the petrol can be petroleum products can be refined see children it is done by the process of like what is refining of petrol how can we define what it is so to understand and uh, to explain you how refining is done it is done by a process which is known as fractional distillation okay i'll talk about this now what is how to define this refining of petrol to extra uh, to i see today i cannot use that word extract hai na because i am using it incorrectly i am not able to pronounce i don't know it's wrong today so now to remove rather than uh, replacement okay so how can i define refining of petrol the separation okay the separation of okay what i am talking about the separation of petroleum petroleum products into okay and with it what i am going to separate it into its components by the process of fractional distillation now please try to understand children what i'm talking about see crude is being removed okay petroleum uh, oil okay crude is removed now all the things are mixed in this uh, to talk about what petroleum is okay it is a mixture okay it is a mixture what petroleum or crude oil what it is it is a mixture okay it is a mixture of many solids liquids and gaseous hydrocarbon
ओके प्लीज पे अटेंशन भैया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रूड ऑयल वॉट इज क्रूड ऑयल वी हैव डिस्कस सेम पेट्रोलियम एक्सट्रेट रिमूव फ्रॉम टू लाइक इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम टू वर्ड्स पेट्राइन ओलियम रॉक एंड ऑयल देन वी सॉ हाउ इट इज फॉर्म ओके बट हाउ इट इज फ्रॉम वॉट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ सो इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनी सॉलिड्स मेनी लिक्विड्स एंड मेनी गैशियस हाइड्रोकार्बन नाउ दिस हैज टू बी रिमूव नो लाइक सपोज आई हैव ऑल द थिंग्स इन वन बास्केट and i have to use it i'll have to use it separately i'll have to remove it from that basket isn't it so until and unless the things are removed from it it cannot be used further so what is refining of petrol to remove different things from the crude oil okay to remove different things from the crude oil is what refining of petrol and how it is done it can be done by the process of fractional distillation so how i'm defining it refining of petrol the separation of petroleum products i should write here petroleum or crude oil okay petroleum or crude oil the separation of petroleum or crude oil into its components means it from what it is made up of what are the things which is present in all this okay so and by by what process which process can we do it we can do it by fractional distillation okay this is the meaning of refining of petrol now children what is the meaning of fractional distillation what do you mean by fractional distillation until unless you understand the meaning of fractional distillation it will be your ratification that you are saying that from fractional distillation uh, petrol is being removed or the other different different things are being removed from the crude oil okay to understand what is fractional distillation first of all we need to understand what is the meaning of distillation okay to uh, explain you the distillation i'll just uh, take the example of like this is a flask here i have like here water is present we have kept water away here now why distillation is done to get pure water okay which is used in the labor like uh, in the uh, laboratories of okay like the uh, suppose the doctors uh, are using a particular kind of water purest kind of water okay distilled water in the laboratories maybe uh, uh, the doctors are using maybe for the some experiments so distilled water is used and what is the meaning of distilled water distilled water means the purest water okay like means the whatever impurities will be there in the water will be separated from the water and the pure water will be obtained so this is a flask and what it will be having it will be having one funnel like this okay now this is going down and it is ending in a beaker okay it is ending in a beaker now above this this part okay one like this part is there which is known as condenser i'll tell you how and what it is theek okay? hai i hope you can all understand this this is a condenser see this is a flask okay and this is what a condenser i this one is so beaker everybody knows that okay now i have kept water over here and it will be heated now it will be heated this is what burner okay when it is heated and when water reaches 200 degrees celsius obviously is boiling point okay when water what i have kept over here i have taken one flask water is there it is kept on a burner and how what is this is a distillation uh, whole arrangement is set up okay a rod is coming here on that condenser is kept attached and here we have taken one beaker water is kept here it is boiled okay when water reaches to 100 degree celsius what will happen uh, you all know water which is in liquid state is going to get converted into what it will be formed into it will be converted into vapors okay now see please pay attention now vapors are moving from here to here okay now what is moving vapor is moving from here and like vapors are moving okay now what this condenser is you know actually 
it is a it is having two outlets okay from here cold water okay cold water is allowed to move from on this part that means a tube is there in very normal way in a very simpler way a tube is there from here the gas is passing hai na water gas is like water is converted into gas gas is moving from this part and on this tube we are putting cold water what will happen when gas is cooled so what will happen obviously gas will get converted into what liquid so what will be formed over here here water got evap evaporated okay boiled water is boiled so what will be formed steam is formed when steam is moving from here it is allowed to cool okay through the condenser water is being allowed to move so what will be coming over here only water again in the form of liquid only okay water will be collected here all the impurities will remain here only why because do you think all these impurities will also boil along with water no please try to understand this is distillation uh, setup a flask in which i uh, we have kept water it is kept on the burner it is allowed to be heated when it is heated to when it comes to 100 degrees celsius water will get converted into steam steam starts moving from here because we have got one tube it starts moving from here and it's coming over here now on this hot gas on this steam uh, what, what is happening water cold water is allowed to move so due to cold wa cold water gas will again get converted into what liquid it will get condensed so it will get converted into liquid and water pure water can be collected over here this is the meaning of distillation okay now coming to the fractional distillation you know what is fractional distillation all the things like petroleum crude oil is here now crude oil i told you it is a mixture of many substances okay it can has a b c d e f okay all these things are here a b c d e f okay now when it is heated now see all the substances have different different boiling point understood all the substances has different different boiling point the one who has lowest boiling point okay the one who has got lowest boiling point will go where it will be separated it will be collected separately for fractional distillation i will i will draw i will draw a separate diagram but just try to understand what will be done in that crude oil is kept okay what is crude oil it is having many substances a b c d e f okay now all the substances will be having different different boiling point the one which is c now suppose a is having a is boiling point is 30 b is 70 so which will boil first obviously the one which is having 30 uh, degree celsius the, the when it starts boiling at 30 degree celsius will boil and will come out and will be collected okay then next who will come 70 then if it is 100 then 101 come okay so in this way it is removed so how can i define fractional distillation and what how it can be removed and what are the different parts what are the different components which comes out we are going to discuss that now so just uh, let me clean this